Sam, firstly, congratulations. You've just been presented with the trophy for PFA Players Player of the Year. How's it feel? Yeah, it's a massive honour. I think whenever you're voted by your peers, I think that's the highest honour as a player. So, um, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. And another incredible season for yourself and Chelsea. Where does this season rank for you in your career? Yeah, it's definitely up there with one of the best, I think, because um, of the hardships we kind of went through too that make it a little bit better. I think we've um, had so many people missing, had, you know, it's been a roller coaster we've been chasing all year and then to finally end on top, it's, um, yeah, the difficult times make it all that sweeter. And look, you always seem to be there. In the crucial moments, in the big games, you always deliver. What do you do to prepare for those moments? Because you always seem to pop up with a goal. Um, I think it's all mental, those moments. I think, you know, you people will say, oh, if you can do it in the 90th, why can't you do it in the first? And it's, I think in those moments, it's who can stay the calmest and be present in the moment. So um, I just have belief in myself, honestly. I just, lots of confidence that um, in the 90th minute or whenever it is that the team will give me the ball and rely on me. And knowing that my team trusts me gives me loads of confidence. So um, I love those big moments. That's what I live for as a footballer. And the deciding game, the deciding goal in the WSL season, unbelievable, by the way. <laughs> But I liked your interview after where you said you dream and you visualise scoring unbelievable goals like that. What else are you visualising? Because it can't get much better than that <laughs> one. No, I, I mean, I do it a lot as a player and sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But I think I said it on the weekend, you have to see yourselves and you see yourself in those moments. And, um, you know, I do that stuff at training all the time and the girls get annoyed if it doesn't come off. But, I mean, um, I think that goal was just made for that kind of occasion. And, um, yeah, I just took it as best I could. And a guy who won a lot of trophies for this club, Didier Drogba, I don't know if you saw, tweeted out saying it was better than any goal <laughs> he scored, which must feel great. But I've got to ask, where are the backflips at this year? Because you've scored goals that are worthy of a backflip. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, first off, Drogba is obviously one of my idols. I think he's my favourite Chelsea striker. So that was an amazing thing for him to recognise that goal. But... Um, Oh, I've got a sore shoulder, I've had a few knocks <laughs> and I was too excited honestly to, to do a backflip in those moments. But if I score a goal like that, I can't do a backflip, I'll probably fall over or something. Now, I know you've got a lot of trophies and won a lot of awards this year. Where's this one going to live? Because you need a good bit of space. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh look, I think my parents will snap this one up. It, it's, you have it, to pay their excess baggage <laughs> to fly it home. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think my parents will probably snap this one up. That'll be pride of place at home when you get home. Yeah, for sure. Right on the mantelpiece.